Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing, of course, as Los, or the Enclave Darkstar. And I want to apologize for, at the time of this recording, the giant delay in between uh, this episode and the last episode. Um, a couple things have happened, such as the power outage killing my gaming rig and my modem and router and all sorts of fun things. Um, that prevent me from doing this, so I apologize, but then this is not where we left off last time. This is pretty kind of, um, a little bit before the end of last episode. I had to basically replay this. So now, we've taken out the Free Fighters, we've taken out the Rio, we've taken out parts of Central North Texas, and even out to Oklahoma. I haven't taken out the Native Americans in Oklahoma yet. We've got a war with the Ejercito Mexicano, in which, um, well, they're also fighting his brother, Excon, Excalolilian. Um, and I figured, you know what, since we're busy, it's probably the best time to attack, so. But, as a reminder, since it's been a while, we do have the veterans still, unfortunately. We do have the Enclave Auxiliary Divisions, 20 combat with actually quite a few demo teams. Um, that was from the, the way they originally were made, so I figured, you know what, why not keep them on. 20 combat with tons of soft attack compared to what they're usually are at. And, of course, filled out max with support companies and whatnot. So, now, like normal, we're out of manpower. God damn it. So, because of that, we're going to do as much as we can do from here. <coughs> and you go up here. There's, power armor. There's only 10 divisions of power armor, but they're doing very, very well so far. Oh, hello. That is not ideal. Uh, oh, you're probably all going to die. Hey. Let's do a lifetime just please. We're not going to win everywhere, but hopefully we'll win in enough places where it matters. But it's good to be back and doing what I'm decent at. Uh, oh, we need some more advanced power armor, do we? Uh, yeah, APA. Yes, please. Boom. And we lost... Oh, only 34 ships. Only 34, that's not bad. Reading a Brahmin is nice. Now, we're going to do a Pecos Province, which if you want to read this, please go ahead. Uh, part of the issue is, uh, well... I also killed my other monitor, so I can't look at other things at the same time as this, but whatever. Where are you guys at? Are you going to finish these guys up? Hopefully pretty soon, because I could really use you down south. Really, really, really use you down south. But we should have air superiority. Well, we'll see. Keyboard did not want to work. That's okay. We got to start coring some stuff here too. Coring more stuff at least. There you go. Monterey. Chasing up power. Fall of Heaven's Gate. That's fine. Cut our losses. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we get no political power basically. So you guys know that. Good. Um, oh crap. So a couple people have gotten in struggle here. Not ideal. Crap. Well, we might lose a division or two here. Or even more on the other side here too. Well, yep, we lost a division or two. That sucks. I'm killing. You're just gonna force it from here on out. You need Austin's done. Because province is good. Uh, we need all the Ironmongers territories too. We're gonna Baja Cartel mercenaries, I guess next. What are you doing? Stop wasting our time. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Weaponry, even though we don't really need it. We're gonna do this one next. Boom. I should probably get a new mask because the one I'm using is actually extremely small. Flip them off here. This is the side we've got to really focus on too, but I really want you guys finish this guy off. Our reserves are good. 
Rig is gone. Repo Pro definitely is good. Don't really need that one, but it's up. It is what it is. Civilized tech. Okay, come here next. Okay. So just murder them all. They've been murdering our division, so Santa Ana needs to die. Let's enforce it. Baja Mercenary Cartel, Sinaloa Cartel Mercenary. So much we have, we have quite a bit. It's pretty nice. Um, we'll do. We'll do that one. Why not? Section Brother is good. Just wait till they come and try to kill us again. Ooh. We lost a quite a few divisions. Just take them. Take that map, I don't very much, but we'll take it. You stop screwing this up. There you go. You guys go up here. Makes it more accessible, and then we're probably not going to go with robots. Old wall tactics, wasteland tactics, asymmetrical legion tactics, not super mutants. Old world, conventional warfare. What are the wasteland tactics? I'm not gonna go the Legion side of stuff. Can we do this? And take everything away from them, maybe? Next door will be ours. So, that's how you do it. You guys are going to do this next, perhaps. They'll probably go to war with us for that, which is fine with me. Go here, do this. Don't care, don't care. What do you got for us? Um, <clears throat> you're going to be leading a lot of power armor. Let's move that one. We'll be leading infantry anyways, um, so that's very strange, good. And that's unique traits, so we'll go with that one too. Left giver. Uh, once we have enough command power, of course. What do we got here? Cartel members? Probably not. Nice. What is this? Metal for industry, sophisticated exploitation tech versus monster tanks. We'll go with that one. I'll paint a rock still. And in this campaign, well, Kaiser's Legion is giant and vast. Ours well, not so much. We sell for science points. We get more stability. Um, what is this? New research department? Could get another research slot. I guess we might as well. Um, we definitely need more political power though. Because right now, even with this boost, it's only 1.23, which is not very much at all. This is nice. We don't really need this one. Um, so manpower is going to be an issue. Manpower and political power is still an issue because I've still not done the. I didn't have elections this time. Culture simulation. Spent army training. Oh, that's worth doing. Immediate draft. Who's? Eh, it's not really worth it. We close out of this one. Lost city. Refugees. Gek. Again, Air Force Base. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead. And Enclave. Nice picture. CQC training will save a little bit of manpower. Um, bricks are nice. Grab some more defense for our guys. I wouldn't mind going to war, but we just did the justification thing, so it's going to last forever. Artillery is good. A demo equipment, yes please. Spring soldiers losses goes down, which is still good. More demo equipment. There you go. And you can go back and do, it, do that stuff. Metal for industry is nice. All states. I think we did that one last time too. Sophisticated industry would be nice. But we get that too, anyways, here. Ironmongers. Yeah. We don't get what you really want there. 
my god, do we need that manpower? Peace over war, don't think so. Settlements, human superiority, build more lab, perhaps. Um. Oh, what do we got here? 42, 43. Very nice. Looking pretty good so far. Um, obviously, there's more stuff we could do. Oh, more manpower. Yay. Monster tanks. Um, sure. Because we do need to go with new there, but I just can't afford that political power hit. We lose so much political power, it's not funny. Bring a new enclave, which we did before in the last episode, but it is what it is. Oh, uh, we're going to need more armor. A lot more armor. Good, rock control here. Good, good, good. Yeah, let's go grab more suppression anyways. How much armor do we have? Uh, 2.8, it's not bad. The planet warfare is pretty good. Two. Okay, robots for, we might actually use robots for uh, suppression in this campaign, because their industry is not bad. Everything else is pretty bad though. Trading definitely don't need to do that one. I wouldn't mind getting more stability. Didn't do that, it's fine. Whatever. I right, want to do literally every focus we can before taking another giant political power hit. Oh. Oh, so you can do the middle one. You can't do either one, but you can do both sides. Oh, that's okay with me. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Painted Warband, now, over here. Fine. Because these guys are pretty good. Power Armor, 20 Combat Width, Anti-Tank Maintenance, Power Armor Support. Pretty good overall. Nice. Basement Dwarfer's good. More foraging, please. Not sure we'll actually use battle tanks, but whatever. Get some training appointments. Uh, and we got plenty of money. How about we do this one? And see if I need radio broadcasting. Put a little more political power. It's not very much, I know, but we'll take it for whatever we can. Iron Avalanche, that's fine. What else we got here? Sure, slightly more piercing, yes. So wait for that stuff. Oh, okay. Well, time to destroy our political power once again. Parts of the last episode. I apologize, but it is what it is, you know. Alright, now you get it going. And you cannot stop. No matter what. General staff, it's nice. So now we can do this one. Creating new enclave. Go Country Down, October 23rd, 2077. And once you no longer cherish hopes for its pre-war revival, we'll create a new country with new people, values, and ideas. Reduces the increase by the Good Lord. Who needed a pee, pee Right, right. Captured Warren. Goodbye, Warren. These guys can you help out? 
beat the Shinakis out of them. There you go. I don't want to use political power. 0.36, it's so rare to use. Fine. And then we'll go to war with us, I'm sure. Right? That's what usually happens. Green new enclave, good. And now we get less political power. Who we were. Alright, we survived the sepulchral silence of the Poseidon Energy Oil Rig. Passed through the flames of the Navarro Basin, crossed waters of Colorado. Now we're actually losing political power, so we might as well spend it while we got it. Uh, close out of that one. Elites. Someone costs up to 50, which kind of sucks. In all honesty, you don't want to do that. Assembly of refugees. Spread propaganda. No, no. Well, we're losing political power anyways. We might as well get some stability out of it, I guess. Ah, they'll probably still go to war if they have a lot of guys amassing the border. That's a resistance still. Oh. Should up out at least a little bit. Sister Lilla. Good. The mechanisms are good. Very nice. And some offices, breach loaded artillery. Let's try who we were. Platoon stuff and let's make offices. Good, 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 good. So now who have we become? Who's worth support? Vampire, old, good old new Reno. Black Ball, who will we become? And yet, they were able to reach a city that should not exist, finding your new home in it. Oh, good, look at that. Figured as much. Oh, that actually beats back a little bit, look at that. Well, if that's the case, can we do this? Right, auto save first. We'll move around a little bit here and there. Um, that's to go all the huh? Officer training. That hurt us quite bad. Uh, spread propaganda. Launch a counterattack. Who have we become? Who do we want to become? Maybe someday our dreams, they will become reality again, and even the infinite depth of the dark cosmos will not stop us. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It's a lot of divisions there. Moose jaw. Nice. Right, works good. Military statistics. Very good, very good, very good. Nice. Propaganda. Awesome. Guerrilla tactics. Guerrilla organization. Gatling guns, and they're gone. 
Pretty simple. Pretty easy. So what are we at now? Negative point six though. Okay, great. Building a new country. One construction style will be cleared in all regions. Increases the speed of construction factories and infrastructure by 5%. Reduces factories used for the production of mass demanded goods by 1%. Begins to use 12 factories for a special project following three focuses. The next three focuses reduce the consumption of the project factory by a third. Mass demands of goods by, a third, by 1%. We'll build a new country through blood, sweat, and tears. It's probably pretty good to do. Forging. Nice. Um, that, that being said. I still want to keep conquering. Oh. Tower of the New Capital. New Tower will embody the hope and greatness of the waste and revival. Uh, he'll perform managerial team and scientific roles in top secret projects. City administration. City administration instead of losing city council. Okay, more population. You lose some research speed. Um, you get the same amount of daily compliance and damage to garrisons. You lose planning speed and passive caps income goes down. It's not bad. Counterintelligence, district pit boys, yeah, that would probably be good to do too. For 50, wow. Still gotta spend a lot of that stuff. You'll spend it here. Increase your power. Blah blah blah. There you go. Hey, people's first junction. Nice. Defense in depth. Good. Um, probably wanna get rid of all these uh, debuffs. Uncle Research, now they have opportunity to start a comprehensive research company. Good. War gaming, nice. Is your training good? Training time, I guess? No, no. Ching. Nice. And what else? Bench rider gear? Sure, why not? Negative point seven. Great. Military signing bonuses. Because why not? So, who's next? I'm the Texan brother should demand territory from us at some point. Uh, Mexican states, few of them should demand territory from us as well. So, Enclave Resources creating new production. We face a resource problem. But the Enclave has maps of pre-war supply depots in places of preserved veins and walls. XP, bottle caps, don't need that. I'll uh, get a more manpower. Or, I guess, population, really. Not really manpower. Anything else here? Yeah, a little more research speed. Sure, it couldn't hurt us, right? Automatic machine guns. Uncle have resources. Uncle have industry. We need more factories to close the minimum consumption of every citizen. Fortunately, we've experienced the capabilities to quickly deploy new factories. That'd be great. Advanced rider gear is very good too. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Promote caravan companies. Who might be open traders? I don't know. Uh, sophisticated robotics. Get some drills. Well, I'm creating a new person. The true indicator of civilization is not the level of wealth and education, not the size of cities, not the abundance of crops, but the appearance of a person brought up by the country. Emerson. Increases natural population growth by 10%, and political power by 0.25. Adds 50% stability and 10% support for the war. The next three focuses will add 5% of the population growth and 0.1% of political power, as well as 5% of stability and support for the war. Defense and attack on the national lands increases by 1%. The next three focuses increase the figure by 1%. So, 
So we're here. Enclave. Still kind of killing us, but whatever. Canneries, not bad. Training time, don't even need that, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. Um, come over here. The radar. Flamboos are nice. Uh, ancient tactics or wasteland tactics? Honestly, we don't get much benefit from wasteland tactics. Locals, yeah, it's nice and all. You have more critical population factor, but it's only 5%. Breakthrough's nice. Recovery rate, defense, piercing. Soft attack is pretty good, though. And you get more special force minimum capacity multiplier. Which is all. It's all right. This one, you get more flat organization. Greater population. Walking infantry, you do better. Special force capacity multiplier plus 5%, which is pretty good. More breakthrough and speed, soft attack, max entrenchment, and we are the Legion. We are, and way less experience those losses. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. That makes, I mean, that makes more sense. This is what they all play. We're trying to save as many of our, our pure people as possible. Creating a new person. Exactly what we need to do. Affordable housing. Increase the speed of infrastructure construction. Research speed. Recruitment rate. Uh, universal medical care. It's necessary to create a base for universal medical care to care for the population as soon as possible. That will allow us to better preserve human resources. Exactly what we were just talking about. Alright, so at this point, can we do this? All you riders. Not quite. Hmm. Training, advanced circuitry. Horses, even more armor will be helpful. Compulsory education. The lion's share of our citizens don't even have literacy. We should start conducting literacy campaigns and introduce a compulsory school system in order to involve citizens in more high tech production and future research. Not bad, what is this one? Oh. We got in touch with a faction looking at Eastern Utah, uh, according to our information. This faction trades are as mercenaries, but have access to technology we're interested in. Um, war support or stability? You know what? We're going to grab the stability. Whatever, how about up so slightly? Vulture. I uh, was decided to create a joint military group of vultures and build it, it through both in both countries. Hangar for airships. Eagle Rockets, massive airships uh, assembled and restored according to pre war drawings. They want to transfer some of them to us, but for this, we should create a base for, for the quartering. The destroyed air, military airfield in the southern part of the city can serve this purpose. Eagle Guards. After the success of the Vultures, it was decided on our part to strengthen this group by transferring a batch of power armor to it in order to create a more elite unit. Conquerors of Heaven. There they were. The Titans will also completely conquer the sky. And the Star Rangers. The Council of Eagle Rocks, seeing what advantages friendship with, with us grant us, or grants them. We decided to join their union. Affordable housing. First of all, we must provide people with free affordable housing so they can finally connect their lives with the country in which they live. Alright. Reliability would be nice. Simple servos. Plasma rifles. At this point, why not? Let's play ahead of time. Yeah, I can do a little better here, too. Sure. Why not? Well, it's looking better. It's not great, but it's definitely looking better. Then grabs. Time is a bishop for New Reno. Oh. Uh, Pesto Chico Shelter. We need to find a military base of the American occupation forces in Mexico. Okay. I'm okay with that. Sounds like fun. Why not, you know? Why, 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 why not? Hey, another division, good, because we lost too many of them last time. Okay. I'm surprised you guys haven't been killing each other down here, but whatever. I'm surprised there's not anything down here too. Or over here. Really? Well, since we can't do this stuff anyways, let's close out a bit. Um, 
Hey, look at that vampire, finally. Uh, feeling alright. <clears throat> Middle mock. Base Cortez. What is this? Local candidate. Oh, I'll say first. Oh, we didn't do new elections. Oh well. Restore control. Or Vice Jenry. I didn't know that would uh, affect this, but okay. We should send a military representative who will unquestionably follow our instructions. Makes sense to me, man. Bes Cortez. Better doggos. According to the coordinates of the former military base, we found its ruined ruins in an army robot. After which, verifying the identity of our fighters, pointed the coordinates of the army shelter, which was located near the river cliffs. Search for the entrance to the shelter. Uh, oh. Our fighters did not find anything on the spot. Scanning the area for radiation leakage also did not give anything, and the locals also did not hear anything about shelters nearby. But when the group was about to return, they met an old man who had been communicating with the resident of the local shelter for several years and is trying to dig up the, of their entrance. Since, according to the information during the Great War, part of the rock moved out, bringing up the entrance. Hope this was another experiment by Voltec. We started digging where, according to the information, where the supposed entrance should be located. And soon the residents of the shelter will see sunlight for the first time in 200 years. People from another world. Oh! Alright, would you look at that? Petro Chico Army. Something. Let's take a look. Army administration, my bad, I have my glasses off. Protectors guarantee. Gas Nation. Shattered state, huh? Vibrant suppression. Old world patriotism. Wow. Allied states membership. Help from the Enclave Dark Star. Funding the army. Dark Star officers. Federal income tax. Nice. Rebuilding in the core. Wow. There's an agreement. Power armor manuals. AR schematics, federalization, retaking the capital, governor's speech, the state of Pichu Chico Army Administration. That's cool. Well, you're with us for now, whether you like it or not. How many doubles do we have? We're not making any. Hmm. Still making plenty of roads, though. Most of our factories are cities, huh? Restoring the Cortez base. Our resources and machines that show that can restore operability bases in the local oil rigs in an extremely fast time. Nice. Here to help you out just a little bit. Motorized snipers, that's fine. Recon 5. Some rocket launchers, perhaps. That'd be pretty good, right? This manpower's fine looking up. Jeez. Hey. Wolf in cheap's clothing. What's inside of the man's head? Oh boy. Vulpus has won. Backroom backstabber. As they're still fighting the Legion and Ouroboros, but not much is going on for them. If that's the case. Good. That's not good. Nothing here I really want to add. Nothing has armor or anything useful like that. Oh. Command rifle territories. Well, let's do the focuses first and then see what we can do about that. In 60 days, oh my gosh. Mexican oil. After all the work done, we can finally utilize the resources of the oil fields in Mexico. Yay. Dynamite. 
might. Grenade. Empty tank. Rocket launchers. I love Mexican oil. Yeah. Oof. Heart of nerves, heart of steel. I'm sure, well, that would reduce their political power, but whatever. More division attacks always good. <gasps> 269 days left. Oof. So I'll try out this one. I'll we'll do a tower of the Nerino capital. Oh, new capital. Mexican oil. Already pretty depleted on oil reserves can still cover expenses. Moreover, drills are increasingly running to formations with natural gas. I suspect that layers with oil and natural gas may be located somewhere deeper, but they're now limited to the tools to dig so deep. Launch mining. No, well, we tried. Well, I guess we can still do this stuff too, why not? Still had time, but I don't care. What else are we missing here? Makeshift squad. There you go. Order 77. Add no undesirables. Los City Gangs. This is boss of bosses, gains big boss. The old dog. Huh. The house of tolerance. Caretaker of the Red Lanterns versus Prefect of the Red Lanterns. City police. Ooh, political power and stability. Chiefs. Surin. Weekly stability goes up. Oh, that's not bad. Well. Sound curtail the calls for the city. Execute order 77. So do that. Independent City Council. Oh. We get weekly stability from this group too. It was a lot more caps though. Um, urban projects, more planning speed, or more construction speed, better caps, worse caps income. Huh. Trade Department, City Administration, Independent City Council. Well, it makes more sense for City Administration. We reformed the City Government Council and now he's more independent, more dependent on our will. Counterintelligence Department. That's yeah, not terrible. Um, the counterintelligence department will be engaged in identifying and catching spies in the city, and also protect objects of strategic value. City police. Sound and create a professional law enforcement system. Self defense formations that guard the oil but take uh, the place of auxiliary structure. And Los Prime. Yes, we've completed this prime. Before the war, there were five or seven such times being prepared, and they don't have time to be completed. But now, strength will be defense below city. The only thing I can destroy is bombing from space. It's good that such weapons, of course, do not exist. Oh, the last patrol, huh? Well, I can't do that either. Oh. Painted war band, the war bands, or the painted ones have been living in war all their lives and they succeed in this craft despite external factors. Holy rock. The painted ones write the history of the rocks. If we paint the rocks the same way uh, they do, telling a story and passing on knowledge, then soon it'll increase mutual trust. Born for war. Heliki did not lie, seeing that these are excellent fighters. Well, now they'll serve us right by right of the strong. And Texas, Kansas trade route. We have a cut, a possible trade route to Kansas. Well, there's not too much left for us, but we can do good old New Reno. Reno is a city of sins, a city of possibilities, and a city of broken destinies. The city beckons us again and again we stick to its call. The biggest small town. A new family. After the flight of the remnants of the Salvatore family and the expulsion of Mordino, part of the power vacuum uh, uh, was the bishops and riots could not fill us occupied by the Van Graves. They say they came from Redding, driven by the New California Republic. And fragments of former greatness. Our reconnaissance group is being prepared for an expedition to the Sierra Reserve depots, which, according to our data, have not yet been detected. Also, we are finally getting a little bit of political power, which is nice. Um, yeah, finally. We're also, we're also increasing our power, but whatever. Uh, Salvatore's legacy. Salvatore fled from the Reno and left a lot of valuables. Some of them are warehouses and caches that are located in the places where transactions with the Enclave were previously carried out. Yeah, this wouldn't be too bad. Uh, what else we got here? Anything here to know? Resource stuff, sure, why not? I didn't want to go to war with the Texan Brotherhood because they should be a big old opponent of ours. Austin Republic should die too. 
Okay, 400. Okay, should I uh, not should not spend that political power? But that's alright, whatever. Um, in all honesty, we should be able to do fine. We're gonna start with the assaults down in the south. Oh, two feds. Oh yeah, I, I, I figured about that. Yeah. Um, they should start attacking us. The, the enclave power armor should be more than fine. 19 divisions of them. Great. Um, uh, business is in Vegas. Tier F asked us to sort out the problem her daughter Gloria had in New Vegas. According to her information, the NCR and the Legion still do not abandon plans for its complete capture. Gloria negotiated with the three families that they would be passed to protect the Lucky 38. Start purchasing. We've agreed to deal with the Van Graffs to supply us with plasma weapons. As a sign of budding friendship, they even provide us with some special copies and foul play. Christopher, you probably think you had 18 carats of bad luck now. Just a dishonest game and young Linus. Gloria Van Graff offered us a deal. We're helping her with equipment, resources, and people in case of overthrowing the power of Mr. House in New Vegas. Her plan to create chaos on the strip is to distract attention. While well, ours and her fighters on the rooftop, a rotorcraft land on Lucky 38 and decapitate and take control of the entire Vegas army with one precise blow. Luck accompanies the daring. Oh, God. Oh, we just got a claim for them, huh? That sucks. We're not even close to them. Holy cow. But we're doing okay with the air stuff. Ready to replacements, airdrop shock troops. And we have a cup of coffee here now, too. Lightning raids, why not? What's the casualties like? Holy crap. 26,000 gets a desperado. No wonder they never went anywhere with anything. But yeah, 0.33. At least we're making some political power. At least that's nice. I'll throw everybody else in here. Because the air damage should go straight up. We're destroying their aircraft. We are vastly up beating them up because of it. Recon, nice. Oh, and there we have a good old two things. Why not? Sure. Um, these guys never went to war with us, which is a little surprised still. Let's see. The reactor's nice. On it. Oh, and there goes the Brotherhood. Bro. I want at least downs. Like, for real, Z's. Garthage should be ours as well. No, it's ours, you bunch of ding dongs. There you go. That's looking pretty good. We should more of them, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Just keep plopping out more divisions. Love it. A little overburdened, but that's alright. You're gonna be a little leader, anyways. And Black Widow. Glory offered a deal. She was tired of her mother's new hobby, Mr. Bishop. She offers a good reward and friendship in the future. Well, honestly, I want that stability, because that'll give us more political power, too. So, we'll do whatever we can for that type of stuff there. As for plane stuff, she got transports a long time ago, but whatever. Transports. John's to Papaitos. They're still killing each other. They're not getting anywhere. Application factories. Our power, oh boy. Well, we're back down to points at 6 3. We're still not terrible, actually. <clears throat> These are all part of the Legion. So, now, the bigger Black Widow. And the Lions of Reno. Reno should belong to the Van Grass, and the Van Grass should belong to the Enclave. <clears throat> New Reno and Klamath. Oh. Well, Schnikes. Army of the New Enclave. Well, that's cool. Hey, Lunatic Elton. The bishops. We could join the war against them. We don't have to. I guess we know where the focus is. I think we might just end it there. It's actually a pretty good successful campaign. Do we get everything we wanted? No, not really, but... Then again, you never know with all these campaigns. And especially with me replaying this once again. Um, you know, 
but it is what it is. Regardless, I love, 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 love playing as the Enclave. And when I saw Los had that option, I figured, yeah, I have to do it. We got most of Texas under us, and Oklahoma, and northern Mexico. It's not bad, so. Hey, if you enjoyed this campaign, though, please consider leaving a fat like. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.